got some crazy questions. <laughs> niggas that said they were done, they ain't keep it on it. Shit out the dungeon. I had to jump out the middle of the part of the middle of the city. I was never confronted in order to survive in the jungle. You gotta come out and come back. I didn't leave from the struggle. I had to grind for my mama for all of the times she would trouble. I had to kill my mom. What brought both of you to do music together? Um. <laughs> Um, shit, bro, bro, it's crazy, cause, bro, being rap, you feel me? So, um, like, bro was so nice on God, I ain't believe the nigga, you feel me? We, we grew up together, you feel me? Man, man, man. I ain't believe this nigga, you feel me? I'm like, bro, one day I'm like, bro, let's write some music. I ain't never wrote no music before, you feel me? Bro, help me write my shit. He wrote his shit, you feel me, oh God. That's how I started. <laughs> yeah. And then he yeah, actually got me to rap, you feel me? Yeah. Okay, so how does that make you feel? You kind of gave him I something. mean, yeah, man, I mean, it made me feel good. I mean, shit, it's my brother, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he like what I do, if he want to be done and shit, that's what it is. We're going to get it together. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Okay, okay, and y'all both said it at the same time. Okay, that's what's up. I, I expect to see more things out of y'all. So, specifically throughout the Carolinas, where at in the Carolina has the biggest music scene? Right now, Carolina Charlotte. Okay. Sure. Why do you feel like that? Do you feel like that too? Yeah, yeah, I mean that's the biggest thing right now. Like, so mm -hmm. music, musically, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's coming from up that way. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people come from that way, like. They, 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 they really put kind of like, like, so, yeah, like, everything coming out of Charlotte Stunner, like, he, well, he ain't from Charlotte, he from Salisbury, but they would just ba basically put the whole North Carolina on, basically, I feel like. Okay, so if Charlotte have the music, do you feel like Durham have the athletes? Hell no. No? Durham has the I mean, yeah, we got a king, but a king, yeah, a king from the project, too. That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Like, yeah. King okay. Judd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Athlete-wise, that's probably all I can say. I don't know where I really know athletes for you. I don't know where I'm going to have to do. Okay. You know some athletes coming out of Durham? Like, who, who coming out of Durham? I mean, besides the guy from Duke, Cook. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. About, like, you know, just any type of sport. Um, I mean... Yeah, Durham got talent, though, you feel me? Yeah, Durham got talent, though, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Especially female hustlers out here, you feel me? Mm -hmm. oh, God, I'm the biggest hustler right now. Okay, respect. Yeah. You paying, okay, that's the first I ever heard somebody say that. That's what's up. females with money, you know what I'm saying? The niggas, you feel me? We don't rock with a lot of niggas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that brings me to a sideline question of mine. Um, how do y'all feel or have y'all ever been in a situation to where you guys are in a locked up moment and your girl will sit up here and give out money for you faster than y'all homeboys? Do y'all consider the bulls over hoes just need to get tossed out? I'm going to be honest with you, like, like, like people got their own definition, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, this my brother, you feel me? Like, my real brother, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... No, nobody over him, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Family first, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, we both, you feel me? We got families, you feel me? And we, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do, you feel me? Yeah, but we put family first, yeah, like, family first. So, like, yeah. we ain't got no bros to be putting up no hoes in the Yeah, right, it's crazy. I said to that, I'm down to respect. Okay. Now, as far as your project, I do see that y'all have a lot of um sites like spotify apple music i think i've seen titles so which one is your biggest fan base right now mm. i mean I, I would say which mean as far as fan base like is, is it from? you know like where our listeners is coming from like right? yeah it's like as far as cities or like just like spotify yeah like that. spotify okay we get a lot of listeners on spotify now, do y'all have any advice for the upcoming artists that don't really have money, they're putting all their money into the studio, what can they do to bring up their brand? Or do you would take money for their shit to pop? Yeah. You take a little money, you don't take as much as niggas really be putting out there, you feel me? Yeah. I mean, you, you just gotta know where to put the money at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, if you, you, it's, it's all about where you're putting your money at. You know, if you put me, you can't put all your money into the studio time because the record, I mean, you can record a record, but what you gonna do with the record? 
Yeah. You gotta market the record, you gotta you gotta give it to the DJs, make sure they spinning them around, putting it on the radio and doing shit like that. That's what it takes money. Like it ain't about just recording sessions and shit like that. That's the easy part. It's about the market if you really wanna go somewhere. Do y'all feel like DJs have favoritism? Hell yeah. Okay. What? DJs only rock with who they can. It ain't even it ain't even like yeah, I, that DJ shit crazy. Bro. I fuck with DJ Double J, and that's really the only DJ I fuck with. Like, I, I'm willing to fuck with other DJs, but y'all be just showing too, too much fucking favoritism, man. Like, okay. I really see that a lot. Okay, and do the tax bracket be different? Like, have you ever heard somebody be like, oh, he charged me so and so, you look like, what? Like, mm, yeah, I've been there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been there too. Okay. Now, um, as you say, you know, Blue, that Durham has a lot of talent and et cetera. Why do you feel like Durham still has yet to be on that Atlanta wave? Everybody's pulling each other up. Everybody's you know, on that. That's the reason why nobody pulling each other up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So piggybacking off of that, do you feel like it's no hope in Durham with all this crime and all this, you know, beef going on to where we can get on that? Are we at the point of no hope? No, nah, it'll never be like that. It'll never be to no point, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Just time, you feel me? Okay. Um, is there any collaborations or any shout-outs that you would like to shout out an artist? Like, hey, you know, I'm trying to work with so-and-so and so-and-so. See, Kujo. Um, Kujo Benz, you know what I mean? No. For real. You never heard of Kudo, man? Mm-hmm. Rap Pop? Yeah, you should check him out, too. On you know, Rise, you know that nigga Rise? I heard of him. I heard a couple of his songs, you gave me, bro, way. Um, shit, that's all I really know right now. I, I want to do some shit. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just like, let me be honest, but um, I want to do some shit with Ops, so maybe. Oh, you know, guys, I want to do some shit with Ox. I want to do some shit with Ox. I want to do some shit, but, um, damn. There's a few people I want to do some shit with, but I definitely want to get on with Ox, for sure. Okay, okay. Um, now, did you guys, you know, vote yet? Okay, so are you going to? <laughs> That's the next question. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, right? I don't even answer that question. Like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't get into politics. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I ain't no. Yeah, you ain't fucking with me. I've never been into it. Yeah, I ain't going to politics. Like, okay. Because it wasn't going to go as deep, but the only question was what did Trump do for y'all? Shit. I mean, neither one of them niggas did shit. Shit, we ain't Okay. I think everybody over the second <laughs> stimulus check is not coming. They just need to let it go. They need to let it go. Okay, so are you guys both originally from Durham? Yeah. Okay, what part? Cornwallis. Cornwallis. Okay. Um, now I do have a game here. A game? Yeah, okay. quick little game. Okay. And it's called You Only Got Five Seconds. Okay? Mm-hmm. Only got five seconds. Only got what? five seconds. So I'm going to call something out and y'all got to say the first thing that's on your mind. <laughs> right. You only got five seconds. All right? Cool. So, done. Try it. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> um,. School. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Street. Wait. <laughs> 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 the bottom of the jets. Yeah. Okay. White. Black. Go. Okay. Okay. Alright, y'all did good. Those were, those were some dry ones that I had. I just wanted to pick your brain a little bit. Um, going back into me not saying that I ain't finna talk about it, you know, a lot of people is doing a little raspy shit, you know, so where can we honestly say we have to pay homage? Like, who really started that shit? Was it really four times? Was it really, you know... Big three or who really got it? Because at first they put 
big three and four times together saying that they sound alike around the same time. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I remember that song was a little yeah, bit. I mean, I heard it said it all first. You feel me? Before four times? Yeah. Okay. I really think Stunner started. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I I I, heard, I did hear like uh, set it off before that, but set it off wasn't even rapping like that at first. Really? I'm gonna be honest, like he mm -hmm. wasn't. He he won't rapping like that. He was mm -hmm. on a whole different wave. Wave. Yeah. Okay. But nah. Um. Yeah, baby definitely put Carolina on. Like mm -hmm. I can I can I can say that from my perspective, I think yeah, baby put Carolina on for sure. Okay. So as far as Charlotte too, like like mm -hmm. Charlotte won't pop. Charlotte what? Like what what, what was popping in Charlotte before Baby? Like nothing. Nothing. After that, a lot of North Carolina artists started popping. Yeah, right. Like he put it. He put it. He put it, he put it on. Like just like he put yeah, well, I'm not just Charlotte. And then he put he put Stun in position. So like, yeah, who's the like? I don't know. Got some money. You feel me? Now are you feeling the and one Dre guy, the slim dunk guy? Or he's trying to catch up a little bit. Who? I mean, she's... Oh, I fuck with Dunk. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, nice. Fuck. Yeah, he made nice. Which, what, he, what was your question, he says, though? He ain't got no fan base like them boys. You feel me? He just got more work to put in. You feel me? Yeah, everything take time. Stunner just took off a little bit faster, like, because... Mm -hmm. He was right there. He was right there yeah. when uh, Baby was grown. So it was like... And Baby yeah, pushed yeah. for him, like, to do that. Like, not saying he not pushing for Dunk. I know he pushing for Dunk, yeah, for, sure. for sure, like, but... Yeah, like, uh, yeah. They, they, I don't know, man. I can't speak. I'm not with them, so I don't know. It's just like, you got to do one at a time. You yeah, one at a time. Everybody get their they turn. So as far as, like, bringing it back home and the hometown being the main source of haters, how can y'all really feel about certain rappers that come back to their hometowns and really be the spotlight of attention? They Do you feel like people like that just want to come back and just show that they got the bread, or, or I mean, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak on yeah. them. Me personally, I wouldn't. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, you can't come back and show love. Yeah, you, you come back and show love. Come back and stunt. And, you feel me? Yeah, you can't come back and stunt. That that sets you up for failure in the long run. Like, that's you, what's you, gonna make them boys. Yeah, that's, that's what that's what, you, mm -hmm. that's what them boys trying. They gonna eat you alive if you come back like that. That's crazy. And are you a strong believer of feeding? Your Especially homies, <laughs> like you gotta feed your homies in order for them to not turn on you. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, what, that people built the turn. You feel people. me? So yeah. niggas that said they were done and keep it on hundred. Shit out the dungeon. I had to jump out the middle of the part of the middle of the sun. I was never confronted in order to survive in the.